the Australian pair will have a lot of family and friends in the crowd as well. Which sort of adds an extra layer because it's exciting to have them here, but when you know people in the crowd personally, it adds a little bit of extra pressure sometimes. from Rajiv Man right, right away, and that is so important on the doubles court. Most of the time, as soon as the ball goes up in the air, a lot of times the guys try and, and take that overhead, but just called Jess to, to take it, and she was right on it. It was good communication. a lot of 13, quick 15. reflex volleys between these four players. They're all so solid at the net. Great control from Thank Ebden. You. Not trying to overpower Graham during that rally. Just found the spots. That middle ball is always such a good shot to go for to start the point, and it just opened up that angle for Ebden. Opening service game, we have the deciding point, so um, we'll serve to Ebden here. Well, the court was open, and Ebden didn't miss the opportunity and gets the early break. Team Australia take the opening game. That oh, was a strong return game from. The Australian team, and I think Rajiv Ram probably trying to get that serve a little bit more into the body, and it just ended up right in the strike zone for Ebden. There was a big gap, wasn't there? That it's wide open. So good start for Team Australia. Of course, one of the other things we haven't mentioned yet is that Team USA are defending the United Cup title here, so there's just that extra added layer for them. They don't want to be bundled out here in the group stage. Yeah, they've spoken about that a little bit, and they knew this year was going to be a little bit more challenging because the format Matthew has changed. There's just one women's singles, one men's singles, and then a mixed, and they actually predicted that a lot of these ties might come down to the mixed doubles. Way with there. And tough group, of course, too, with Love Team GB. Team. Kenny Bolter's been a star for them.
great adjustment on the overhead, just going straight down the center of the court. 15. Previous when he missed going for such a sharp angle, so good choice there just to get a lot of power on that. Big miss. 15, 30. Didn't need to take that big a hit. Oh, sometimes it happens so fast. He just took a just took a big swing on that. That's great movement. Very quick up to those volleys from Ebden. I like that the Australians are using the high formation right out of the gates. It just puts that thought into the Americans' head about where to return the serve. And especially if you're playing opponents that return really well, it's such a good play. Force your opponents to pick a spot. She was the Great Wall of Perth for a moment there. One, two, three. Look at how much movement of the feet. I mean, she's constantly getting in position and getting ready. Knows that ball is going to come back at her. So deciding point. Good awareness from Ebden. Team Australia court, meaning that Pagula had to scramble forward and then was well out of position, opened up the court behind her. So Australia had to a fast start. Jessica Pagula representing Team USA to say. I think we're going to see a lot of the, these returns going down the line, especially gets Ebden and Ram with how often they move at the net. Not a bad option for Storm to try and go down the line, but the pace isn't going to beat Rajiv. He's so close to the net, has great reflexes.
He's a menace on that net, isn't he? He's right there. He's just about a foot between. Here we go. Perfect angle. Yeah, he's very good at, at being close, and he doesn't have a huge backswing on that volley. It's perfect. Just keeps that racket head in front of him. Good movement from Ebden to come across. Well, that was the return. It was the movement through the ball that was able to get that extra pace on that return. So Pagula gets Team USA on the board. It's Team Australia. 2-1 in this opening set. Crowd in at RAC Arena for this New Year's Day clash. Spont in the quarterfinals, still well and truly up for grabs. Storm Hunter now to serve for the first Storm time. So quick off the split step, Ebden, and you can see both Ram and Pagula. Pagula staying back as well because of how active Ebden can be at the net, because just gives her a little bit better chance being back for maybe a play on that ball, but that was just too good of an angle for from Ebden. Perfect time from to move from where Ram is when Ebden's trying to regain his position on the court, just a little bit off balance. from Storm just to try and get that ball okay. dipping to the feet a little bit at Pagula as she's moving forward. That's a tough folly to control when your momentum is going forward. 
And it's low at the feet. Great spot from Hunter. So we've had two deciding points so far. The first one in the opening service game from Ram, which Australia won, and then Ebden defended theirs in the second service game. So well done from the Australians. Yelena Dokic is courtside, and uh, it's great to have you along. Elena, once again, and it's a good start for the Australians. Thank you, David. Sure is. And a couple of things that are really obvious as well is that the Australian pair, they are returning better. But also what I mean by that, there is more variation. They're keeping the ball low. They're going down the line. From, I think Ram and Pagula, they are returning a lot through the middle. And that's why they're having trouble break. Even, even if you look at that last point where it was a deciding point, the return from Pagula's really going through the middle a lot. And Epton is right there. They're really reading that. So tactically, I think for Pagula and Ram, they will have to mi mix up those returns. Just to, uh, I think, keep the Australian pair honest, but the Aussies off to a fantastic start. Yeah, I even feel like they can probably throw in some chip lobs over Ebden because he's so close to the net. And, I mean, there were some pretty good body serves, and you could see Pagula trying to get out of the way, so it's tough to control that. But maybe just throw in a couple chip lobs. I like that suggestion of some variety Elena just mentioned. So Ram holds serve this time after dropping his opening service game. So it's Team Australia, 3-2. So right above the Perth CBD is Kings Park. I know it well because I marched up Jacob's Ladder, the stairs there the other day, and it was a mistake, I have to say, because it was hard yards. There was a lot of them, and it was steep. Have you been up there, Jill? I have not. No, no I need to get up there, been? though, but you're, you're, <laughs> you're, get up there. you're making me a little worried no, I might not make no, it. No, you're fit. You're fitter <laughs> than me. So you get up there, and it's a magnificent view. The State War Memorial is there, looking out over the Swan River and the Botanic Gardens. Is a Kokoda walk as well. It's uh, tremendous. It's well worth it. Just take your time up the steps. That would be my only piece of advice. Or you can get one of the cars to take you. A lot of the players have been going up to Kings Park and uh, not too many of them have been on foot. So situation here in this live mixed doubles. Australians have got off to a fast start. Deciding point on the serve of Rajiv Ram, who's come in for Taylor Fritz. Australians broke serve, Time. held since, survived a couple of their own deciding points. So they've got the break, they're up 3 2. And we have calculations if the Australians can win in straight sets, then they're in good shape. Love it in.
So I've got some new audience with us. I'm going to repeat some of the things that I just said then to reset where we're at here. It's a live mixed doubles. I reckon if Australia win in straight sets, they will go through as the winner of this group. If the USA can win a set, they don't need to win the match, just a set. It will be Marla Tomjanovic. A close one, two sets, but Alex Demonor was most impressive. Take the win in straight sets against Taylor Fritz. And the Australians have got a break here. Of course, deciding point, they managed to break. Ram serve in the opening service game under pressure again. That's a great reaction from Ren, and he was falling backwards as well as Hunter closed on the net. So effectively two break points here. They've got this one, the bona fide break point, and then the deciding point, which will follow if Australia can get out of a tight spot here. time he had to do that he couldn't have time to set up to hit any other shot but had a great reaction well left by storm hunter as well it was a zip zip by but uh, that was a trick shot that even matt ebden didn't know he had <laughs> Just sailed wide. USA. So USA. USA get the break back. Three all. That's really great rallying from the cross from Pagula just to fend off that pace. And here's a look at the previous point. Just a quick reaction from Abdent to be able to get that ball. That was on a the previous break point. A reaction from the Australian team. Pretty right proud back. of that. <laughs> That's a lot that Another we were team. talking about that maybe Pagula and Ram could throw in that chip lob on the return. That was a great lob from Storm Hunter just to completely take Ram out of the equation in that point. Love 
skipping viciously from Hunter. That's now. what made it so effective. It was a good move by Ram, but it was so low over the net. It's a tough one to coach on. So got the early ascendancy, then Team USA able to even things back up. Now under enormous pressure. That was only just in. 50-14. Slid off the side of Ram's racket. again New balls. stretch out to a 4-3 lead team australia leads by four games to three very animated alex demonor still on a high after his performance earlier i like the eyebrow raising from you then jill when you saw that graphic of the the firework i thought it was just a new year's eve graphic the, <laughs> with, the, with the ball tracking and the little like dots on the thing cool. But no, apparently it's here for the tournament. I like it. <laughs> I mean, Matt Abden is just all over the place right now. I mean, he is taking control over the net. And normally I see Rajiv Man Ram move a lot more. But, but I think Ebden is the one that's making that initial movement and being the first one to get aggressive. And he's kind of frozen Ram on the other side. So it's a huge credit to, to Ebden to be... This is the most active I've probably seen him. I've, I've seen him play a lot of doubles, but he's being super active. It's an animated Team Australia bench. Storm Hunter to serve. The first service game, although she did get to a deciding point, but they were able to defend that. Got a break Time. once again, leading 4 3. And the new balls as well. Lana, I think we just need to see a little bit more of that from Jessica Pagula here. I think that'll help Team U USA. Absolutely, and uh, she's rarely done that. And you can see Abden again, he was covering that middle or cross court because that's where nine out of ten returns, especially from Jess, have gone. And even this play right here, right, Jevren, when they surf to his backhand, the one-handed backhand, same thing, he rarely goes down the line. And what Jill said as well, what we saw from the Australian team, throwing up a couple of those chip lobs off the return. And the Americans are not doing that. And that's where I really think the Aussie pair at the moment have that advantage with that variation. We need to do more with the return than that. And that's, another, exa that's another example. You go through the middle there. And it was not like she didn't have a racket on, on the return. It was right in the hitting zone. So you can go down the line, but just to keep Ebden at bay and keep him honest, even throw up a lob, even if you don't win a point. That was a great body serve. Yeah, I think they need to... I mean, it's very, 14, it's more 15. often that Pagula is going to take the backhand down the line because she likes coming across. The forehand, I think, especially if they go forehand body with the serve, that one's going to get that get tough for Pagula to take down the line. And I think that they need to do the serve a little bit more to the Pagula forehand. Once again, Team Australia edge closer to this first set. 
Team Australia leads by five games to three. I like the call there, though. Uh, yeah, it wasn't convinced, so he threw up another option. It was a hard no, and then <laughs> went for the third one, and it was, yep, let's go with that. It was the right call for Pagula to go after that overhead, but it was so high, so she couldn't quite get the pace that she needed. And if Ram was trying to cover that ball just in case it went over and hit her head, but it just left that cross open. I think that combination, that serve, that kick serve up to the backhand side of Ebden and try and force him to take that ball down the line. That's a tough return to take down the line. It's a tough one to control. That was a good play, good call by Ram and Pagula. Set points for Team Australia. 30 14. The Australians get the opening set and they dance back to the team zone and they're up on their feet. 6 3, team Australia. So, Jill, we discussed Rajiv Ram coming in for Taylor Fritz. If I told you that Ram lost his serve twice and won at once, would that change your opinion <laughs> on whether the big serve would have been useful? I mean, it it's a it's a tough call because but I, I still think they went with the right choice. I think they should have I think Rajiv Ram should have played this match. I think it was a good call. Yelena's nodding vigorously. <laughs> well, I'm just nodding because I think it doesn't really matter to be honest with you as big as Fritz's serve is. The Aussie pair, they haven't put a foot wrong. I mean, no. watching it from here, it's, this is just spectacular. I mean, I'm enjoying this so much. This is just impressive to watch. I don't think it would have mattered. <laughs> That's my job, of course, to ask those little curly <laughs> questions, just to see ask what sort of response questions. I would get. <laughs> I asked those of Jim Career earlier, and he, he looks at me a bit scared, actually. 
I think the other thing is, I, I remember in Taylor's um, singles match, he called the trainer out as well, so I'm sure he wants to protect whatever. Small ache he might be feeling. So yeah, and I think that, that the US team's plan was to have Rajiv play. You know, that's why he's here, but he was delayed. Had a family commitment, I believe, back in back at home, and so could only get here. Just didn't quite feel like he was ready for that opening one, having just got off the plane. As you know, well, Jill, it's a long journey, big time change. Takes a few days to adjust. And I think you probably look at it and go, well, this does come down to having four players that are so good at doubles and mixed doubles. So you would go with Ram instead of Fritz. But let's also not forget it's it's maybe a lot easier to go now, oh, did we make a right decision when you're a set down? It's not the same when you're going out there and making that decision before the match. And it's not done with yet. And no. they've got two break points here plus the deciding point. Get the early break, Team USA. Take the opening game in the second set. See, for example, Jill, what we were kind of both saying, that little angle from Pagula in yeah. the first set, that would have gone a flatter ball through the middle or cross, and that's that variation that was missing. I, I, I like that adjustment there. Yeah, it was great. And just listening to the US team as well, on the changeovers and just listening to them communicate with each other, it was... Uh, one, one of the guys, Dennis Kula, standing up there that said, you know, Matt Ebden, he loves that pace. He feeds off that pace. And he was not bothered by the ground strokes of either one of the American team. And he was, and I think just having that variety is so crucial. It just took him off his rhythm a little bit. And so does Storm. Likes the pace yep, as well. That's exactly. why she's also a really good returner and same at the net. very good at consistently being able to get that ball low to the feet of Ram. I mean, almost every time Ram, Ram has been coming forward to the net, he's had to hit that half volley. I think this is a where Ram has to kind of go, okay, I'm going to really change something up with the serve. He, he can't hold. And, and I think using the body serve a lot more. I don't think the kicker's working. There's too much time for both Ebden and, to be honest with you, for Storm as well, to just get those returns low. Chance to break straight back here. Uh, chose a different one there. A lot more slice on that serve. It curved away from Hunter. Straight away. One game on. Storm Hunter, formerly Storm Sanders, 
partner and husband, Lachlan, who drove the four-wheel drive across the Nullarbor to get here from Melbourne. Took him five days. He said he's uh, he stopped a few times along the way, put the swag out, had a sleep. He's not going to spend five days going home. He's going to do it a bit quicker. Good effort. <laughs> he loved it. Needed a good Love wash when it arrived. But... <laughs> The other day, I so said, You do know you can hire a car when you get here. He goes, oh, I just had stuff that I had to take back and forth. <laughs> That's like driving across the USA, Jill, but there's, there, there's no towns for most of it. Across Australia, you mean? Yeah. Oh, we, have, yeah. we have quite a bit of stretch there where there's no towns, but Australia definitely has more. <laughs> Another one. I've never done it, but it's a, it's a long stretch of road. Pagula doing a better job of getting out of the way of that body serve to create space to be able to take that forehand down the line. But that's now two returns from Jess in this game where she's gone down, down the, the line. line. Yeah. yeah, definitely change from there. And I think it's for Ram, it's now that serve, nine out of ten is going to go to that backhand. Can he change direction? Can he maybe go down the line? There it is again. So he tried something different, yeah. but that's where the Aussie pair are just, just attacking and serving to that backhand. It just wasn't quite enough depth. I, I like the idea of the, the chip return. It was just a little bit short, and Ebden is very quick to get back for that lob. That was a great return. Took that slightly that earlier, Pagula. So both service games so far in this second set have resulted in a break. We've got a break point again here. to really like this Starting commitment point. though from Storm to keep putting those first serves in into the back end and give Ebden that opportunity. Keep asking the question of Ram, can you do something different? I'll keep going there if it's constantly working. I mean, Ram's been struggling to really know where to place that backhand return. Well, some big points. The winner of this set Effectively qualifies for the quarterfinal. And Hunter holds serve. Team Australia leads by two Team Australia 2-1. Both Hunter and Ebden really taking the return so early, and that's part of the reason why Ram has not been able to move that much at the net because it's just coming across the net so quickly. Fifteen, thirteen. 
Oh, it's a big opportunity there to maybe go love 40. Just hit down on that ball, just flatten that out too much on the return. It's been a difficult project here in this second set. Each of the servers so far has faced breaks or deciding point. In fact, breaks and deciding points. They've all faced service break points. was showed me a little bit of a difference between the two teams right now because right here Rajiv looks like he's going to go but just backs off he doubts himself to make that move right there and Ebden's been the one that has committed more to make those poaches at the net. scrambling from the Americans to stay in that point. Don't mind the last shot from Ebden just trying to get it deep with that, that extra height. Just pulled off of it slightly. from Ebden got pushed back, got ball landing right on the baseline from the return from Ram. It was a perfect shot to hit that deep, heavy ball cut up on the shoulders of Pagula. Team Australia, when he's taken the first set, they now lead 4-1. Thank you. 
So not much conversation in the Team Australia team zone. DJ's a US fan. He's lost out a bit of Neil Diamond just for hands touching hands. Here we go. Are we ready wherever you might be? Time. Oh, well, oh, that was a disappointment. Next time. Next time. Yeah. Ask the question. Team Australia is requesting the replay of the in call on the right and far sideline. Yet to see anyone defeat the machine. And a few interesting ones. That one just scraped in. In that point where the Americans were in control, they still had to work hard to put that last ball away. Good scrambling from the Australians. Now, a great return from Storm Hunter. Elena mentioned that she likes the pace, and that was a good yeah, example of it there. Yeah, I almost wonder if, if Ram should take some of these first balls as an approach shot and then come into the net because he's constantly having to hit a tough half volley. That's perfect placement down the middle. But again, taking that ball on the rise, that's what the Australians have done so well, just cut down on the time for the Americans to be able to get in good position. Use the point. So a big point here for the double break. Goes long, Australian bench is up. Team Australia. And all of a sudden, they're out to a 5 1 lead. And the spot in the quarter final Team Australia leads is now beckoning. Five, five games to one. Do you think the 
tournament promoters would like a quarterfinal Australia Serbia led by Novak Djokovic wow. Wednesday night. <laughs> It's not over yet. <laughs> not over it's yet. It's looking good for the Australians. No, and we're impartial, of course, here. But <laughs> as a former event marketer, I'll be dancing a little jig at the moment. just hits that so well. Even Ebden was trying to cover the line, but took it early. Nice and low, was able to get that by Ebden. defending their championship which they won convincingly <laughs> connecting with everything out here today. Ebden, good quick reaction from Ram there. It was a little bit of a miss hit from Ebden at the net. I think Hunter may have had the best approach on that. She was pretty close, wasn't she? But Ebden A little bit closer, yeah. yeah. Scampering across. Still match point. Tie 2-1, and they will go on to the quarterfinals.